Obviously, with the movement that's happening, everyone is talking about race. And I feel like I can have these conversations now. So I'm going to meet Dion Taylor today, who is a sociology and black studies lecturer at Birmingham City University. Only recently, I've really started talking about racism, maybe like the last couple of years. And I feel like I know what I want to say. Sometimes I don't know how to articulate myself. In terms of discussing anything about kind of race or the way that we feel, there's lots of terms. So for instance, so when we're thinking about colorism, it's actually kind of preferential treatment or a desirability for one skin complexion of the other. Darker skinned is often linked to, to kind of seem to be more threatening. It seemed to be um, not, not attractive and, mm. and seemed to be ugly, less desirable. When lighter skin is seen to be more pretty, mm. it's meant to be more beautiful. We've had people that um, will bleach their skin. Mm -hmm. We have people preferential treatment in terms of dating websites. Yeah. And often it is almost the individuals within the different ethnic groups and so within black groups that are kind of going against each other. People then have feel that they have preferential treatment for having closer proximity to whiteness. God, it's so frustrating, isn't it? It is really frustrating. It's around the unintended kind of privileges that individuals, one individual give to another. If there was um, a white male hiring manager and you had two candidates, one a black male and one a white male, they're more likely, based on unconscious bias, to get someone who looks like them and hire someone who looks like them. You know, if we're not able to see representation, then the impact is that some of the younger generations, they're not going to feel that they can fit in. I guess I could kind of relate that to my experience, like that predominantly white fan base will favour the girl that looks like them. I work mm. with positive discrimination because I do think we need to have more and better representation. Yeah. But what happens when people actually get into the workplace? Mm. How are they treated? Yeah. If people yeah. aren't happy when they're there and they're not mm -hmm. treated fairly, then it can be even you know, worse because mm. people have ticked a quota and a, a yeah. tick box to actually say, right, yeah, we've got people, yeah. we've got this many ethnic groups in, but the reality is still experiencing discrimination. Thank you so much for speaking to me. That was amazing. Yeah, really insightful. I think such a good start to my journey. 100%. I know racism exists. I know it's everywhere. It's not just as easy as just to say, oh, it exists. It's like, we have to get into this. It's so complex. And I know I'm going to be learning every day. I am learning every day anyway.